The UI that still looks soft as fuck, just like Spider-Man when his girlfriend dumped him. Well, don't worry, because today I will show you exactly how you can turn him from being extremely soft into extremely badass with the best Twitch shakes you'll ever see. If you want my exact Twitch shakes that I use for my edits to make them look the best as possible, make sure to check the first link in the description. You can get up to 70% off of my shop right now and buy my presets right there. Once you've got your clip, we want to start by adding the Twitch effect to it. So we're just going to click on the layer open our effects and presets panel and search for Twitch. Drag it onto the layer and copy my settings. We're gonna start by setting a keyframe for the amount and put it from 100 to 200. Now we're gonna set the speed from 5 to 100. Now open the enable behavior and operation controls panels. On the Twitch shake we're gonna enable blur, color, light and slide. Now under the operation controls panel we're gonna open the slide and now adjust these settings. For the slide amount, you want to put it from 50 to 100. This one you want to put from 1 to 0 0.6. The slide direction, we're going to just put from 0 to 1. These two we're just going to leave and put the slide RGB split to 10. Slide motion blur stays at 100 and for the unique slide seat, we're going to put it to 400. Now zoom in a bit. Go ahead 15 frames and put the amount to 0 it in our keyframe. So now we're gonna press U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes, select both of them and easy ease them. So we can add a graph to make it look more smooth. So we're gonna right click keyframe assistant and easy ease. Now open a graph editor, zoom in a bit more and copy my graph. Once you're done with the graph, it should look something like this. And so now we can close the graph editor again. Now we're gonna add a S underscore shake. So go ahead, open your effects and presets panel and search for S underscore shake. Apply the preset to your layer and we're going to go to the very beginning of the layer again because we always want to put the keyframes at the beginning of the layer. And we're going to set a keyframe for the amplitude and put it from 1 down to 0 0.8. Now we're going to put the frequency to 6 but without a keyframe. Now enable the check mark that says motion blur and go to the very end of the clip. Now we're going to put the amplitude from 0 0.8 down to 0. Press U again to bring up all the keyframes. Now we're just going to easy ease these two keyframes. So select both of them, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease. Next we want to add a lens blur. So we're going to go ahead and search for BCC lens blur OBS and just apply that to our layer. Set the iris scale keyframe and put the value from 15 to 30. Now we're going to put the gamma up from 220 to 1000 all the way. Now we're going to go ahead approximately 12 frames and put the iris scale to zero. Press U again to bring up the keyframes, easy ease them and follow my instructions. We're going to put the graph just so it looks like this. Now close the graph editor again and we're going to add a directional blur. So we're going to search BCC directional blur and put it onto our clip. Again, go to the very beginning of the clip set the blur amount keyframe and set it from 10 to 200. Now change the angle from 90 to 0 so that we have it vertically. Go to the end of the clip and set a keyframe for the blur amount to 0. Once again we're gonna press U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes, easy ease them and just copy my graph again. We're gonna put it just like this. Drag this and put it here. Now close the graph editor and take a look at it. As you can see, this is what it looks like right now, but we're still not done. What we're going to do next is we're going to search for S underscore flicker and we're going to edit just to make it look a bit better. So we're going to edit to our clip, put the amplitude to 0.16, put the random frequency to 40 and the setting to 0.2. Last but not least, we're going to add S underscore blur more curves to our clip. We're going to go ahead and search S underscore blur more curves, drag it onto our layer. And if you've seen my smooth zoom in tutorial, you know what's coming now because we're going to add some smooth zoom ins. Make sure to set the keyframe for Z distance at the very beginning of the clip. Leave it at 1. And then we're going to go to the end of the clip and put it from 1 to 0 0.92. Press U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Select both of them as usual and easy ease them. Now open a graph editor and copy my graph. Make sure that once you're done, your graph has this kind of form. And now we can close our graph editor and take a look at it. As you can see, it looks pretty smooth. So now to apply it to our other clips, make sure to select all the keyframes. And then while holding down control on your keyboard, press the S underscore flicker effect in the tab on the right. So it copies that as well. 
press Ctrl and C on your keyboard, go to the beginning of the next clip and press Ctrl and V and it should paste it automatically. Now we're gonna go to the next clip and do the same. Go to the beginning and press Ctrl and V to paste them. Now this is your final result. I hope that you're satisfied with your first own Twitch shake and that it meets your expectations. If I could help you with this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe and also share with a friend who needs Twitch shakes because his edits are kinda soft. I also have a big editing discord which you can join right now where I'm on 24 7 so if you have any questions you can ask me there. Make sure to check out my website, I fully revend it so there's a huge sale going on right now, make sure to not miss it out, you can get up to 70% sale. That's it, thank you for watching and see you next time.